Uh, a little boy is still sitting in the same place and just watching the ongoings and the rustling of the grass as the wind blows and he definitely is a lot more sleepy than he was yesterday. I suppose he also hasn't had the same motivations around. There hasn't been Franklins and hyenas and elephants to keep him busy as there was yesterday morning. And so I think he's taking it very easy. And so what I was saying to Sev now is that if he starts to sleep again, what we might do is just let him have a nap and try and see if we can't go follow up on the sticks pride while they're around and then come back to him. I don't think he's going to move too much today at all. Much like yesterday, I think he might go towards Twin Dams for a drink, but otherwise I think he's going to be pretty stationary in this Mulawati area. It's nice and shady, there's a bit of a breeze blowing today, and ultimately it is going to get quite warm. The sun is out and it already is. I'm hoping that that's where he's going to end up for the day, but he certainly is very sleepy. I just enjoy watching him with the flies. He doesn't seem to really know what to do. He tries to grab them, but he's far too slow to actually catch any of them. And you can see that they irritate him, but sometimes he just gets to the point where he just can't be asked. Uh, sounds like some Aramark babblers behind us as well. Always. Maybe it's actually the Redwood Hoopoo, sorry. They have such a similar call. Green build. Mita, hello Mita, how are you? I hope you're having a good day today. Now, Mita, you're wondering about who has the longest tail, cheetah, lion, or leopard? Well, Mita, the cheetah has the longest tail of them all in relation to the size of the body, and that's because the cheetah needs their tail for when they're running. It helps them to balance, and it helps them to turn quickly when they're chasing things like the gazelle, because the gazelle they're able to turn very very fast and that's how they try to get away from the cheetah the cheetah runs fast in a straight line but it's difficult for it to turn when you when it's running so fast and so you'll find that they need that long tail to help turn to be able to catch the food that they're looking for and they look at those claws and big feet they've already got serious weapons inside there that's a very cool view of a leopard paw. How cool is that? So you can see, look, look how the claws went back in. So they are not retractable. Everybody always often refers to them as retractable claws. Leopard claws and lion claws don't retract, they protract. So when they're in a relaxed position, you see, only when he forces them do they come out. Otherwise, they naturally stay inside. There we go. So protracting. If it was retracting, they would be out and he would pull them in. They naturally are inside and only when he exert, exerts force or pushes them do they come out. So that is called protraction, not retraction. What are you doing? You're almost climbing your way underneath that log now. <laughs> so he's now positioned his head underneath, which means that if anything gives him a fright, he's going to hit his head on that stump, which will be <laughs> completely ridiculous, but so in line with what he's like and what he ends up doing. 